Alright, another great feature to enhance a game is to add a rate button so that people that play the game can actually go to the App Store and rate the game. And that's supposed to be on Google Play Store, on the iTunes App Store, also on the Amazon Fire or even Steam or any other stores. But here I'm going to focus on Google Play and iTunes. Alright, so here goes the source code and what we need is obviously a button to be able to click and get there. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. We've already done the uh, Twitter button and we're going to do something very similar for the raid button. So what I'm going to do is take the button Twitter that we've done earlier and just duplicate it. Now, the best way to duplicate it is just by clicking on it and just right click duplicate. Here we go. And I'm going to rename this to button rate so that I know that it's about rating the game. Cool. Now, the next step is to actually say what the button rate does. And before I do so, I want to change the sprite or the image of the button rate. And right now it's button Twitter. So I'm going to click on the target and select the button rate. So the rate, if I remember, I'm not quite sure which one it was. So we have to double check that. How do we do this? Well, we can go inside of the menus folder and we can see them all here. So here are all the buttons. And uh, the one that I'm going to take for the rate button will be um, I'm going to use this one, the one that uh, that has the uh, the star. OK, so it says button leaderboard, but it's not the leaderboard. It's actually a rate button with a star. OK, so why the stars? Because stars re reminds people of reviews. So I'm going to rename this button to bottom button rate. OK, perfect. Now that I renamed it, I can actually select it by selecting the button rate set and change the source image to button rate. All right, here it is. I can actually already see it, but that's not where I want it to be. I want it to be more on the left side. So instead of the, the um, position X to be 128, let's go with negative 128. And boom, it's exactly on the right side, on the opposite side. Now, the next step is to say what the button is about to do. And the button needs to trigger the um, rate functionality. So let's go ahead and create that rate functionality. So let's go to mono develop inside the manager reference. Let's look for the uh, pressed Twitter button and we're going to do something very similar. So right below this, I'm going to create a new function public void pressed the rate button. So pressed rate button. And um, now I'm not going to say what it does just yet, but I'm going to save and hook this, or connect this to the actual button user interface. So selecting the button rate, going in the inspector, I'm going to look for the action. So if I go down, I will find the action. And inside of the button rate, we see the on click. And I'm going to change the action to manager references and locate the pressed rate button. Here it is. All right, I'm going to select it. And we're good. We have the connection. I'm going to save that now. All right, and now I'm going to write the logic inside of MonoDevelop. Now, the logic needs to go through either the Android logic or the iTunes logic. So this would be a different URL. So let's put an if statement. If Unity underscore Android. By the way, did you guys see that the if that I put, I put um, a pound sign in front of this so that this only will um, it will only run whatever is inside of it only if this is a, a true statement all right so if we have this then what do we do we do application dot open url why well you guys should know already why open url because we are basically sending the person to um, to the web browser which will send them to the internet to rate the game all right but here on android the um, we need the url and so we need to create the rate URL for Android. So we don't have it yet, but I'm going to to um, create the um, variable Android rate URL. All right. So now let's create this Android rate URL. I'm going to copy this and go all the way up. And right below the App Store links, I'm going to create the variable public string. And now let's put Android rate URL is equal to, and now we're going to need to put the link here. So that would be something like market for, because that's the Android links and then um, details. 
and then the app ID. So details, and then um, that would be ID is equal to, and here that would be the app ID. Now, what is the app ID? Well, we already have it here because we've done it earlier for the red, the game, right? So here it is, color clone. I'm gonna copy this, command C, and paste it right there. All right, and put a semicolon at the end. That's it for the Android rate URL. Now let's create the, um, the rate URL for iOS. Public string, that would be iOS rate URL is equal to, now here on uh, iOS, it's item dash apps. That's the link. That's not HTTP, that's item, item, so ITMS dash apps. I know it's kind of weird, but that's the way it is. Column, backslash, backslash, and let's go to iTunes. So that's iTunes dot Apple dot com backslash app backslash and now the ID equal actually there's no equal sign ID and then the ID of the app on the ID of the app on the uh, on the app store and now the, the one on the app store I believe that I'm going to be using the same one so I can just copy this and paste it below but if you're not 100% sure you'll have to make sure that you have the right one so how do you make sure you have the right one here well you can always go back to iTunes connect let me show you going back to the web browser I can go to iTunes connect locate my app and then I can find the bundle ID right there you guys see that this is what I need okay so this one is for Halloween colors so that's the one I would be using but um, it's not the Halloween one that I'm going to be using I will be using the other one which is the one for uh, the regular color switch this one yep so the ID would be different let's double check here it is that's the ID that I need so I'm going to copy this ID command C and go back to mono develop and paste it in mono develop. I believe I already have the right one, but let me paste it again just in case. All right, done. I, I don't need the backslash n, so I'll just save that. And that's it. Let's uh, finish the logic. So going down, going where we have the logic to, um, to change. And it's where we have the if statement. Let's see. Okay, so Android rate URL. Here it is, if, and after this, I'm going to put else. So after the if, we need an else if, so elif. And uh, here we're gonna say if it's Unity iPhone. Now, sometimes it doesn't work, like you don't see the difference here, but Unity iPhone works. Um, then what do we do here? Well, we open the application URL, so application dot open URL. And as you can see, it's grayish. Why is it grayish? Because the Unity iPhone is, is not set. And then here we will have the link for iOS, which would be iOS rate IRL. Oh, I have a mistake here. It's URL. So I need to change this to a U and go all the way up and change it to a U. Okay. I was just trying to see if you guys were following. <laughs> all right. And obviously, since we have an if, we need to finish it by closing it. So new line and if. All right. Let's save that and we are ready to go so now if i go back to unity i will be able to press that button so let me press play so now i'm able to press the red button let's see and we don't see anything happening um so somehow obviously i'm not an android so it's not gonna work but what you could do to make sure that the that this is called what you could do is to write a debug statement below so you could do like debug dot log sending rate on Android and uh, below I'm gonna say sending rate on on iOS all right and let's save this now let's go back to unity and try this out I'm gonna press play again I want to make sure that the sending works so I'm gonna go to the console let me pause this so that we can see the console. I'm going to clear the console. I'm going to unpause and I'm going to press the rate button. And now let's take a look at the console. And yep, here it is. You guys can see it. We see sending rate on Android. All right. So whenever you're going to be connected to a real Android, this will work. All right. So that's all you need to know for rating your game. And this will add a great value to any games.
so that it will uh, give more proof and uh, uh, you know like user proof to your game and uh, more people will download the game as well